As the Pentagon looks to buy innovative weapons for Ukraine, it might do well to explore the humble barrage balloon. Quaint weapons, associated with an old-fashioned way of war, the barrage balloon was simply a gas-filled bag tethered to the ground by a wire. When employed in numbers, modern balloons can make low-level flight perilous, forcing attackers to fly higher, exposing themselves to basic air defenses and reducing the effectiveness of low-level bombing runs. This is exactly the sort of low-cost and low-tech innovation Ukraine needs as it struggles to keep contesting airspace over the Donbass region. With the Air Force absent, Ukraine defenders need every possible advantage as they concentrate and start pivoting towards the attack. For forces struggling to maintain air supremacy, barrage balloons work. First employed in World War I, barrage balloons were enormously effective in limiting low-level air attacks on defended sites. During World War II, the UK deployed about 2,000 balloons, effectively hindering German bombing, aerial sea mining and other low-level flight operations. Balloons brought down aircraft. During the Battle of Britain, 102 aircraft struck balloon cables, forcing 66 down. Balloons were particularly effective against the first drone aircraft accounting for 231 V-1 missile kills. Tactical doctrine supported rapid balloon movement, and close integration with local air defenses. These passive defensive systems wore on pilot consciousness, and several reports, from both sides in World War II, cite concerns that balloons loomed large as a threat, degrading effectiveness, and posing a disproportionate distraction to pilots and aircrew. Despite their effectiveness, Western interest in balloon-based defenses deflated quickly after World War II. Balloons are purely defensive systems, and, once the West seized control of the air in World War II, the passive balloons were no longer needed. Throughout the Cold War, Western battle planners were so confident in their ability to gain air supremacy, balloons were relegated to occasional balky service as sensor-laden aerostats.